Hello, I'm Tim, the Woodworking Maniac, and Happy New Year! Uh, I have not been around for a while. I spent most of my December, well, most of my December I spent sick. Uh, matter of fact, my entire household, uh, I've got a household of four. We, all four, were passing around a virus uh, that it, it pretty much wiped out our December. Uh, pretty much after, uh, or actually a little bit before Christmas, uh, we really started getting sick and just kind of passing it around left and right. Uh, it completely changed our Christmas plans. Usually we go and visit some family a couple hours away uh, for Christmas and things, and we ended up having to cancel a lot of those plans uh, and all that. But So we ended up getting a little bit of a tidy Christmas at home uh, instead. So kind of changed some plans, but it, it is what it is. So... I have not had much shop time in in the past few weeks. I'm finally actually this week getting some shop time in. Uh, I haven't actually been in the shop for just a few weeks even. Uh, like right a little bit before Christmas I, find, I had a little bit of shop time in. But pretty much since Christmas this week is when I'm finally getting into the shop. Uh, but uh, everybody's finally getting over everything that's been going around. Uh, we all had antibiotics. Uh, uh, matter of fact, my wife and my daughter are still on the antibiotics. My son and I, uh, we just finished our round of antibiotics last week. But we're finally all getting over what it is that we were, we all had. So that's how our uh, uh, December and stuff went. But I hope that everybody else has had a wonderful and blessed uh, Christmas and are, are going to have a great and wonderful new year. So I hope 2016 is going to be great for everyone out there. But... I wanted to give everybody a bit of a shop update because I haven't done a shop update in, in quite a while and i uh, got a lot to update you guys on. So a couple things. One, I wanted to show you some of the new tools that are in my shop because uh, I'm going to be doing some videos on some things and I uh, wanted to give you an idea of what's coming up here in the near future. So uh, a lot of people have seen a lot of the X carves coming around to all of the uh, YouTube videos. Well, Inventables did send me an X carve, but I also have another CNC that I have in my shop. It's the, um, excuse me, it is the ShopBot Desktop Max. Now, the ShopBot Desktop Max is their newer uh, desktop uh, model that is twice the size of their uh, ShopBot Desktop. Now, uh, it's a really awesome machine, and uh, if you went to Woodworking in America, you saw this machine uh, on display, and they were actually uh, doing some pretty cool things with it. So I'm going to be doing some videos with this machine uh, and uh, kind of doing some comparisons of what you're getting apples to apples to uh, going with like the ShopBot, something that would be coming to you fully assembled and uh, kind of ready to go versus buying something uh, that is much uh, cheaper to buy, like an X-Carve, uh, but you have to put it together yourself and uh uh, that does not come assembled that you have to maintain uh, basically and you have to you have to fully assemble it yourself and kind of what what you're getting in comparison uh, so I'm gonna be doing a few different comparison videos as as to what you're getting in in, in the differences there so I'll be doing a, a few different videos there and just a just a few different CNC videos so look for those here in the near future um, that'll be coming kind of throughout throughout the year also, I, uh, I replaced my drum sander. I had a uh, Grizzly 24-inch double drum sander um, that uh, didn't really show up uh, in many videos or anything like that. Uh, I, I don't even know if it, did, it even showed up in any videos because uh, I, I hardly used the thing. Um, if you remember in my previous shop tour uh, that I had done uh, way back when, I had a Performax 20, uh, 2244 drum sander and it's a single drum sander and I actually really liked that machine but I ended up buying a Grizzly 24 inch double drum sander off Craigslist and uh, uh, it was a 220 machine that I didn't have uh, power run to yet so I hadn't used it I ended up selling that Performax machine before I even used that Grizzly machine yet uh, but I had wanted the double drum sander thinking that it would actually give me uh, a little bit more uh, it would save me some time by having uh, two drums and sanding uh, with a uh, two two grits and running it through in one pass to get a, a finer grit in the final pass all, all at once, uh, which it does. But I just wasn't really necessarily completely happy with that machine, 
And so I've replaced that with a Supermax 25-2 drum sander. And I'm going to be giving you a, uh, <clears throat> a full out video here in the near future of uh, kind of comparison to why I chose the Supermax drum sander. So definitely look for that here in the near future because I want to show you some key features on that Supermax sander that are really pretty awesome. So definitely look for that here in the near future as well. Also, uh, my lumber rack, uh, if you've seen my lumber rack video, I built a pretty large lumber rack uh, in a previous video and that lumber rack now is completely full. Uh, I uh, have it filled to the max uh, because I'm going to be building a whole bunch of uh, products kind of over this winter uh, just so I can actually get some products, more products on my website that are uh, kind of easily accessible. Uh, I completely revamped my website last year um, and I ended up buying an SSL certificate so people can actually start purchasing on my website securely because uh, I wanted to actually get a storefront onto my website th this way that's they, they have a, a safe way to actually purchase on my website so I don't have many products on there right now but uh, you can more more than welcome to go ahead and start uh, checking out what I have available on there but I am going to be posting more and more on my website as I'm as I'm building stuff and uh, just ha having things uh, kind of readily accessible as, I, as I'm building things this way I can actually build up some product for my website itself also I've got a stack of uh, well over 2,000 pounds worth of plywood. Uh, you can see in this picture here. I've got a lot of plywood ready for a bunch of shop projects. I'm going to be building a bunch of shop cabinets, uh, carts, and different storage solutions. Uh, now that I've kind of reorganized and reset up my shop, uh, which I had kind of given you guys an update on and told you about in my previous shop tour and a couple other shop updates, uh, my shop is nothing like it was in that previous shop tour. I've completely relayed it out and uh, uh, done a whole lot of changes. And now I'm needing some more storage solutions and different carts and different things. And so that's where that plywood is gonna be going. So I've got a bunch of that plywood ready to go and uh, gonna be looking for a lot of the videos coming up here soon for uh, different ways I'm gonna be building some of those things. So look for those uh, coming up here in the near future as well. And I've got one other thing I want to uh, want to do, and for that, give me just a moment. I'll be right back. And Sarah is one year old today, so it's been a year since she has been born. Uh, many of you all have been following along and have asked me how she has been doing. Uh, she has been doing quite well. Um, I haven't really done a shop update in quite a long time, so I haven't really... Uh, talked about her too much uh, but she's been doing very well uh, she is still on a feeding tube and uh, matter of fact she is eating right now I uh, went ahead and uh, brought the setup down here uh, in the shop and uh, she's getting kind of her evening feed right now anyway so I just let her uh, continue eating while she's here so she doesn't eat uh, by mouth at all uh, because of uh, the uh, the length of time that she was intubated, basically that impulse was uh, kind of past that point when she was uh, extubated. And uh, because of that, she's having to learn to eat. And she it, it's a long process, and she does not have any interest in eating at this point. And so it's, it's going to be a long process and, and things. So still working on that. So she's... Uh, Still gets all her feeds by tube, uh, by, a, by a pump and, and things like that. And she also still has to have oxygen in the evenings. Uh, beyond that, for the most part, everything else is going still pretty well. Um, but as I was saying, she's still getting over strep and all the little things like, like strep or the flu or any little, little sicknesses or anything like that. She's much more susceptible to than any other... Uh, other babies or anything like that so all those little things can really affect her a lot more she's actually been uh, caught with a strep virus a couple th couple times and uh, it's it's caused some so it's sent her to the hospital twice now already uh, one time she had to stay at the hospital a couple days and then this time uh, uh, she just had a few hours there but uh, like I said other than that she's doing pretty well 
But I did want to let you know that if you really want to keep up with uh, her and also our family, uh, my wife has actually been doing a blog, uh, and she just now started posting about Sarah. Uh, it's been kind of hard to actually uh, get to the point of actually doing the posts about Sarah, and she just now started posting about Sarah uh, on the blog. But the blog is houseofmaniacs.com. So uh, I'll have a link in the description of this video for you to actually go to. And my wife is kind of hiding off on the side of the camera. I'm going to get her on the picture here too. So <laughs> this is my hi. wife. This is Amy. Say hi. Hello. So uh, she does the blog houseofmaniacs.com. And uh, like I said, I'm going to have a link to the blog uh, in my video description here. So definitely check out that. Uh, and you can keep, keep follow along there. She does other different things on the blog as well. Like I said, she, she homeschools my nine-year-old. And so she blogs about that. And she also uh, blogs about some uh, recipes and different things uh, with cooking and things like that as well. So also another thing that I wanted to update you guys about was my December giveaway. Uh, I wanted to congratulate Shane. Uh, he won a... Uh, uh, Clearview Mini Cyclone, uh, or Clearview CV06 uh, Cyclone Mini System, and I do have a January giveaway going on right now. Um, I'm a few days late on announcing it because I was actually still getting over uh, the crud uh, as of a few days ago, but uh, I'm feeling much better now, so I'm back in the shop finally. Uh, but I actually will have two winners for January. So get on my website, woodworkingmaniac.com forward slash giveaway. And I've got two prize packages for January. One of them is from General Finishes. And it's a kind of a starter package of finishes. So we've got a few different quarts of finish. Uh, kind of my favorite finishes uh, that I use uh, pretty often. Um, and I also have a, a little safety package from Microjig. So there'll be two different prize packages for the month of January, and you have until the end of January to get signed up for that. So definitely check that out. Uh, other than that, from my family to yours, I uh, want to thank you guys for watching this one. I know it was a little bit longer of a shop update than normal, but it's been a while since I've posted a shop update, and I had a lot, of, lot to update you guys on. So once again, thanks for watching my videos, and I hope you all have a great day. God bless.